What's up guys, Marcus here from Studio One Expert. And in this video, we're gonna pick up from where we left off in the previous video. And if you didn't catch that, I'll make sure that there's a link available in the description here so that you can go back and watch that and catch up with us. Okay, so in the last video, basically what we did is we extracted a groove from our loop here, and then we quantized the actual audio events of our kick samples and our snare samples using the quantize on track option so that they sit a little better with the actual groove. Now in this video, I wanted to go a little bit deeper into this and kind of unfold another layer, if you will, of complexity so that we can have even a little bit more control over this. Okay, so as for now, this groove is sitting pretty good and our samples are definitely sitting better with the loop in itself. So let's have a quick listen to everything. Okay, so one other thing that I wanna have a look at here is let's say that we wanted to make some adjustments to the timing of this track. For instance, let's say that we wanted to add a little bit of swing to this. So all we need to do here is we need to make sure that we select this event. Let's go back to grid. Let's go to our swing here. Let's add about 20% swing and let's go ahead and apply that. I want you to keep your eye on these waveforms over here as soon as I click apply. And the other thing is we need to make sure that we switch back to quantize as opposed to quantize on track, which would just move the audio event as opposed to the contents within it. Okay, so we've got a slight change there. Let's solo this and listen to it. You can hear that right away, that swing. Is the original. Let's say that we wanted to use that as a new starting point of our track. Now what we can do is basically the same thing we did in the last video. We can just go to our groove clipboard. Since we made a change in this, we need to redrag this over. And I want you to keep your eye on these lines here when I redrag this. I don't know if you caught that, but there was just a slight shift in everything. It just moved slightly. Now what we can do over here, we're gonna select this track, make sure that we select all of the events on this track. We're gonna choose the quantize on track option. Keep your eye on these events. They moved slightly. Same thing over here. Just a slight move. Let's go back and have a listen to that. Okay, so now I have an entirely different feel to this loop over here. So now that I've played that, I'm almost hearing something different in my head. Now that we added that little bit of swing, I feel like we could layer in another loop to augment this even further. So let's open up our browser for a second here. And I'm just gonna navigate into my volumes and let's go, we'll go with some of my old Pro Tools loops. Uh, we'll use hip hop, let's look for some drums and maybe we'll find something. Let's see if we can find something that works. Let's see how this sounds. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll use this one. I think that could add something cool. So I'm gonna drag this in. Okay, so now this has tempo information that's detected in it. So let's automatically set it up properly for the right BPM for us, which is great. Okay, so let's have a listen to see how this is working with what we have here. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. Let's see if we can tighten this up a little bit. It doesn't really need too much, maybe just a little bit to tighten things up. So if I was to take this right now, and we have our new groove that's been dragged in here, we have this already in our groove clipboard. If I clicked on this right now, and I went to my quantize menu, and I just clicked apply, make sure that we're on the quantize option, let's see what happens. Okay, so it's done a lot of time compression and expansion there. Let's have a listen to see how this sounds. Okay, so I don't like what it's done there. So let's go ahead and let's restore the timing by clicking Shift Q. What I can do here is I can make an adjustment to tell it basically how much transient detection do I want it to do and where do I want it to sit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to the bend marker menu over here, the audio bend menu, and then I can just dial back this. So I can pull this back and I don't really need it to detect too much. So let's say even if I went to something like 
let's say 43, somewhere around there. This should be enough to tighten up the areas that I just need to tighten up. So now let's go ahead, we'll head back to our quantize menu over here with those bend markers added with our groove in the groove clipboard. Now let's go ahead and apply the quantization. So we'll just select this track over here. Okay, subtle shift. Let's hear how that sounds now. And we'll bring everything back to here, engage our loop. Bring this down a bit. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restore its original timing while it's playing. Go back. Straight. Okay, so let's just do a quick recap of what we've done there. We took our original groove, we added a swing value to that, we redetected the groove clipboard by dragging it back in here, we re-quantized all these samples by using quantize on track for both the kick and the snare, then we dragged in another loop to kind of add something to this loop we have over here, we had to make an adjustment to the transient detection so that it didn't over detect transients and it didn't do too much and it just basically found certain points that locked to the groove that we extracted from this loop. So essentially what we've done here is we've taken four elements that existed separately and we've kind of made them gel into a more cohesive picture. And we'll have a listen from the top again. Okay, so that's it for this one, and I hope you guys got something from this, and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.